as part of the project, we need to establish just what the standards in butter spreadability are. So to assist, in the, assist us in this, we've had a number of housewives come in and we've asked them to spread the variety of butters which we've prepared on bread and give us their judgment. Now in this, uh, uh, we have 20 samples and these cover a range from butters of quite uh, good spreadability to those which we know will be very hard. Of course, all of this is being done at a constant temperature. Uh, the ladies are being asked to uh, spread the butter on bread in the ordinary way and then record their comments uh, as to what they themselves think uh, uh, as to the ease of the uh, butter to use for its uh, spread, spreading on bread. Now, all of these results will be statistically analysed and compared with the information that we can obtain from our testing instruments. These test instruments are, uh, are two in number. We have the triaxial compression apparatus and we have the extruder. In the triaxial compression apparatus, a, a sample of butter is taken, rather large sample, three inches long and one and a half inches in diameter. And this is compressed in the machine and the uh, load required to cause the deformation of the sample is recorded on the graph. Now this machine has the ability to distinguish uh, two properties of butter. First of all there is the, the strength or the more loosely the hardness of the butter which is measured by the height of the graph and this is the uh, uh, very closely correlated with the uh, hardness of the butter to, uh, to spread. But another very important property of butter is its plasticity and the shape of the curve and also the shape of the uh, broken sample in the machine gives an idea as to whether the sample is brittle or plastic. And it goes without saying of course that uh, spreadable butter must be plastic. That is when uh, we load it, when we uh, cause it to flow, such as is, uh, happens when we try to spread it on bread, uh, the butter should flow rather than crumble into pieces. And the instrument is able to uh, quite clearly show both uh, brittle failure or breaking and plastic failure or breaking. The other instrument we use is an extruder and in this instrument a sample of butter is forced out through a small orifice at a constant rate and the load required to do this uh, is causes spring to deflect and this deflection is traced by a pen on, an, on a chart. Naturally the harder the butter is to force out the hole the harder uh, its spreadability would be or the less its spreadability would be. And this instrument is uh, much simpler to use and uh, uh, is considerably less expensive than the rather more elaborate one and is able to give very useful information additionally about the spreading properties of butter.